because there's no one or no man that can hinder us if you're in Christ. And there's no one or no man that can hinder you, period. So unless you have been unaware of what's been going on in the news, critical race theory has been prevalent over the last three to six months or so, even last year during the Trump administration. And for those of you who are unaware as to what critical race theory is and what it ascribes to, to simplify things, critical race theory is the theory that everything can be seen through the lens of race. And because it can be seen through the lens of race, there's a group of oppressors and there's a group of the people being oppressed. And everything that has been built in America, all the structures, all the, the systems, those things have been established through racism. And so critical race theory attempts to explain that by saying that you have the oppressors and the oppressed. And because of that, the oppressed have not been able to achieve because of the oppression that has been in front of them, that has hindered them from achieving. But it's funny, that flies in the face of reality. That flies in the face, especially as a child of God, of truth. For the most part, we hinder ourselves, especially in today's time. Now going back 50 and 60 years when there was true oppression, did our forefathers who marched in the civil rights movement, did they subscribe to a theory like this? I don't think so. You know what they subscribed to? They wanted to have the same ideals of America be real for them as it was for the Caucasians at that time. That's what they were fighting for. They weren't fighting to promote victimization. No, they were fighting for true equality when there was a separation of bathrooms, white and colored, when there was a separate but equal ideology and a separate but equal mentality in place. No, they were fighting against that, but they weren't fighting against it by saying that they were oppressed. No, they had dignity about themselves. They were confident. They knew who they were and they fought for it and bled and died for that. And to lack of a better term, trash the memory of them by subscribing to a critical race theory? That's disheartening. It really is. Because to me, you know what critical race theory is about and all the people that are promoting it? It's all about power. It's all about power. You wanna know why it's all about power? Because it's the power to control. It's the power to do a narrative, to keep pushing a narrative. It's the power of guilt. It's the power of manipulation. That's the power that critical race theory is looking to subscribe to and is looking to take hold of. Critical race theory is all about power. It's a theory. It's a theory born out of Marxism and communism. It's all about revolution. It's all about taking power from the people that supposedly have it and transferring it to the ones that do not. But in all honesty, the people that they say they're fighting for, those people will never achieve what critical race theory promotes. Critical race theory only benefit the folks that are pushing it. <laughs> it will never benefit the people that are supposed to be the benefits of it. Because in Marxism and communism, only a small percentage of people retain all the power. People complain about the 99% and the 1% right now. Move to a Marxist or a communist government or Marxist or communist system and see the true 1% and how they rule. So critical race theory is not about it. It is not about helping people. Critical race theory makes us dumber. It makes our children dumber. Critical race theory, all it does is makes us victims and we're not victims. We're empowered for greatness. We're not victims, but that's all it does. It makes us victims. It uses the power of guilt. 
white guilt, uses that power over them to make them feel guilty for something they did not do. And it gives the people that are pushing critical race theory power over the people, over the people that unfortunately adhere to the guilt, white guilt or white fragility as they call it. Um, and it's funny because this person feels guilty for something they did not do. They can never assuage their guilt or get rid of it. They can never do enough to get rid of it. See, with critical race theory, they're always pushing that white people are guilty. They're born racist. They're born with privilege. So they can never get rid of it. See, that's the mentality they're trying to push on you. You can never get rid of that. How can you get rid of that? You know how? By rejecting everything that you believe. By rejecting everything that you have stood on. But even that will not pacify them. And then you got the power of narrative. There is a narrative being pushed by the media, by entertainment, even by sports people. This narrative that there's a power imbalance between the races and critical race theory really pushes that power imbalance, so to speak. That black people cannot achieve in this land because they have been oppressed, constantly being oppressed, they wake up oppressed. Oppressed when they go to the grocery store. Oppressed when you get out of bed. I heard somebody say, I'm oppressed as soon as I wake up. What kind of mentality is that? How can you live like that? But CRT and, and its adherents, they push that narrative in the educational system, in the media, entertainment, sports, wherever it, they can sell this, they're selling it. And then the last one is the power of manipulation. See, the first two are like the precursors to this. That's what they're looking to do. They're trying to manipulate people to make a decision. They're trying to manipulate a group of people to do whatever that group desires. That's why it says all about control. They want to manipulate people, make them feel guilty, push that narrative of privilege to the point to where that person, that group feels so guilty that they'll give this particular group everything they want. It's all about power. It's all about power. That's why we don't have real conversations leading to change. That's why we don't really have real discussions. It's all about power. It's all about assuming power. And that's it. Accumulating power. That's what CRT is all about. In the educational system, it's all about accumulating power. Feel free to disagree if you want to, but I believe it's all about power. That's it. It's not about education. It's not about benefiting people of color. It's all about power.